In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. Now, I've gone ahead, restocked most of my stuff. Five bandages, six first aid kits, but my supplies are just devastated. I need fish oil and tonic. I need cloth. My water situation is coming around. I have gone ahead and taken care of all the plants upstairs. Let's double check that, but pretty sure my plants are taken care of. Yep, everything I can do up here is already done. Yep. Grow, my pretties, grow. <laughs> Today, though, I think we're going to spend the day gathering resources. Probably the best use of my time, considering the time of year that we have. Now, people have been saying, hey, you know, try using the glass panels with that new stuff. And I do want to do that. But as I was hinting in last episode, I am going to start building a second base. I don't know when that's going to start. That's something I've been thinking about for a while. And I think now I'm to the point that I want to try it out. I only have 26. Because I want to test something before I actually do it. It would take three per... One foundation down. Let's see. This, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to gather resources. What I wanted to build was... This takes four. That takes three. I wanted to build a uh, set of stairs that would allow me to get up in that new cave. Up to the ceiling at that entrance point and see if I can... Um, place a BCU that'll connect to the top. Maybe I'll do that in my test world where the resources don't matter. Because here the resources matter. I heard something. I heard a, a hoof fall. Instead of a footfall or a footstep, it was a hoof step or a hoof fall. However you want to look at look at it. That's what it sounded like at least. I think the game is messing with me. Oh, beautiful subsistence sunrise. Got to love it. Alright, so where am I going to build? Well, I have two locations over there. And maybe we'll take a run over there and take a look real quick. Um, hold on a second. What was that? Okay. thought it was another cotton plant. I was like... Really? Two days in a row? Are you kidding me? Ooh, take that back. Let's go get some food first. Then we'll run off into the wilderness. But there's a nice cliff face over there that I've always wanted to build. Add. And that won't be as close to the cave as if I wanted my cave, if I want the cave connected to my base. But it's a better location in my mind for actually building because I love building on rock faces. Now, you guys already know that. Um, eat one chicken. Uh, chicken. <laughs> one steak and eggs. And I'll take the eight tomatoes with me. Ooh, I'm glad I checked that or I would have been letting one spoil. That would have really made me upset. All right, so I am good on food. We'll get water over there. I'm not gonna waste my time. So let's go scout out where I want to build. And then I'll explain my thought process as well while we're over here. Hey, piggy, 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 piggy. Who's a good piggy? I'll leave the piggy alone. It's not the resources that I'm looking for. Rabbit? Oh, speaking, if I'm gonna, there we go. If I see rabbit, definitely want the rabbits for the cloth. 
loot crates. N not locked crates, loot crates. Can I get this? Will you let me get it, please? Thank you so much. That's such a good yogi. Good little yogi. I need a chicken, but I want to grab the chicken on the way home. If I grab this chicken now, it's just for... Oops, no, it's looking over there. It would just be for the feathers. Basically, I'd grab it, kill it, um, get the feathers, and throw the meat out. Ooh, okay, let's skirt this way. And I'll probably do that with the rabbits, too, because I'm not heading home anytime soon. So if I end up getting any rabbits, I'll... Oh, actually, no. Why throw the meat away? What a spoil my inventory. Spoiled meat is actually useful for something now, right? Oh, I am... I am glad that people enjoyed that last episode. That was definitely completely off the cuff and on a whim. It was just like, you know, hey, oh, darn it. Uh, winter's coming. If I actually want to get in there and get some uh, crystal, I better get going really quick. So that's what brought along that uh, episode. Or at least the direction of that episode. Would you quit running? There we go. Kill Butcher. And just leave that there to spoil. More than likely, we will not make it home in time to have that as a, uh, a meal actually able to be eaten. All right, I'm gonna grab this. I hear a lot of noises, but I have no clue where they're at. Well, one's right behind me and about got a piece of my butt, so. At least I know where one is, right? No, 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 blueberry. Come on, let go. Go chase somebody who cares, because I don't. I don't want to play with you. You're not you're not what I'm here for. Ooh, scrap metal. I'm always here for scrap metal though. Yeah, I can make it over here in the day and back with no problem. Why was I thinking it would well Nah, I can make it over here. I can even spend the day over here doing stuff and still make it back in time. That won't be an issue. Ooh, bear. Dodge the bear. Now, I'm not going to destroy my old base. I'm just going to build a new base. God, that sounds... For a second there, it sounded like the rattle of a, of a, a rattlesnake. I was like, did he add snakes to the game? I <laughs> hope I didn't give him an idea. That would really suck. Right, no, wolf, leave me alone. Is it worth the shotgun shell? Probably not. All right. So, home locations. Now, if I wanted to build right where I think the cave would connect to the surface. I have no way of confirming any of this other than the fact that, oh, hello. You're not gonna run too far or you're gonna get into the water and make it really easy for me. Come on, stop running. Stop running. You jerk. All right, you can, you can stop now, all right? You got far enough away. You happy? Oh, thank you. Give me your bits. That's all I want is your cloth. That's all your work to me, is cloth. Holy crap. Well, I forgot to actually eat. <laughs> I grabbed all that, uh, all that fruit and never ate any of it. Oh, well. All right. So, you know if you go out at the end of this, I don't want to, what you want to call it, a finger outcrop, the cave's not too far away. Oh, <laughs> what about that luck? More pearls, yes, please. Oh, God, another pearl. It's pearl-tastic. Yes, I went there. 
All right, we're gonna find the entrance to the cave and try to locate the uh, best areas to build. Uh, that pearls, I think, actually, that's not too deep. I got that first one, the second one. I can get this one without drowning. I mean, it'll be closer, but I can do it. I'm gonna lose some health. Oh, I'm gonna lose some health. Let's see. One, two, three, four? Four hits, that's not bad. All right, so you line up that tree with there and you should look down Ah, yep, there it is. All right, so that's the cave entrance right there. I'm gonna line that up. So that's the cave entrance. And when you go into the cave, it is a long tunnel that you have to go through before. Yeah, I don't think I can get that one. I already took enough damage. I don't think I'm gonna take any more. But most of it's already healed up. But there's a long cave. And my thought process is that cave, uh, uh, part of it at least, that rock right there, I think is almost where that central, that central pillar of that cave is. If you've gone inside the new cave, as soon as you come up out of the water and you look around, you'll see this pillar of rock to the side. I think this right here is very close to where that area is. And I think if I went to the, the ceiling up there and put a BCU there, and of course that would give me a marker so I know where to go, and got right above it and put another BCU in, I almost think they would connect. So building basically on the edge of the water there is one idea. And I do really want to try it. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that one was way too short when I let it go. Come on. What you, what you hunker, hunker down and then die. There we go. No, don't squeal. Just be quiet. Stay in my inventory. Now, where I want to build though is right there. So do I build and connect to the cave or do I build there? And I think I'm gonna build there. I like the idea of connecting it to the cave, to the surface and everything, but I wanna build on that. I've wanted to build on that rock since Cold Games added that rock. But with the cave on the other side, I didn't wanna go that far to have to get to water, or I mean to get to the cave. I don't need to now, there's a cave right over here. This is another little area that's actually kind of nice with this uh, shallow water area right here and a nice rock cave. You can all, well, not a rock cave, but like a, a rock overhang that you can almost build up underneath. So that's not a bad idea either, but I think I'm gonna build on that, on that rock outcropping right there, right over the water. Now we can start going home. That was the main thing. I wanted to, to look at this again and get a feel. Hmm. Think about it for a second. If I built, it's just those two trees are in the way. That's the problem. And I don't have an idea yet on how I wanna build over here. Like I wanna see this or see that. The one thing that I do know is that if I build on the on the side right there, I can have it jut out over the water and you can look down through the angled glass that you know the the angled sheets now and just look, basically look right at the uh, edge of the water, which would be kind of cool. And a couple other cool ideas uh, to go along with that. Wait, I think the ideas are cool. Uh, we'll we'll let you guys decide if they're actually cool in the end. All right, we need some action today. 
I think on the way home, I'll if I see a boar or a deer, or I mean a, a moose, preferably a moose, but I take a boar on the way home. I need a chicken alive to add to my coop. Oh, nice. Feathers and cloth. Yeah, keep those uh, loot boxes coming. And it'll take a while. Now, I've been running this season a little different than other year, uh, other seasons. A lot of times I'll play throughout the week and basically do update videos with you guys. You know, okay, I'm going to do three videos this week on subsistence. And, but between those videos or before those videos even start, I'll spend part of the week gathering resources, building stuff, basically playing the game without you guys and then bring you in for three uh, videos recorded, you know, basically back to back on here's what I've done in the world let's spend some time together okay I'll spend more time without you and then I'll come back and hello oh I thought that was it was like that's too green for cotton that looks because it had that other plant in there that looks so much like a like a cotton plant I was gonna get really excited there for a second all right wolf I'm gonna leave you alone yes I know the wolf's cloth but the rabbit's cheaper takes less resources. Granted, I'm not seeing as many rabbits as I see uh, wolves, but you know, it's my game to play. But I was wondering if you guys want me to keep, I'm enjoying this season where I'm not pressured to play in between and try to get a lot of things done to, you know, basically impress you guys with what I can do. I'm just playing this season. I'm just playing the game, you know, hey, let's try this out. Let's try that out. But it's at a slower progression. Some people might not like the fact that the progression is so slow. It's like, dude, it's taking you, you know, 88 episodes to finally go into the cave. You could do that in one week if you really wanted to. Yeah. And then I could get burned out on the game, too. Oh, nice shot. I could get burned down on the game and not really enjoy it anymore and get to the point where I'm like, God, do I have to do another video? I've got to play more subsistence. I played, you know, 20 hours of that this week. Now I have to go and, you know, spend another four hours making videos. I don't want to do that. Or the way I do it right now, where it's like, I can't wait to make an episode. I've missed playing subsistence because I only play about four hours a week. For me, playing four hours a week means the game doesn't get stale. And, and, you know, a little bit here and there, but, you know, I love the building aspect of the game. So I just, hey, I'm going to, you know, when I start getting kind of, you know, except for the fact we just had an update. If there hadn't been an update, I would have been like, yeah, I definitely need to build another place. And that's usually me kind of getting that I want to see greener pastures type uh, attitude. I, I want to try something different. You know, with this update, I'm content to stay where I'm at for a while. Oh, nice. At least for a little bit. But I am going to start gathering resources and uh, building up the supplies necessary. I'm also thinking of doing a transfer video. I've been asked a couple times recently, how do I set up a new base? You're, you've decided to move. What do you do first? I have my process where I try to conserve as much resources as possible. Use up as many uh, or as much mass and power from my old base, making all the things I need at my new base before I even move over there. It works better in an older save where you have a ton of uh, resources banked. Like this time, I wouldn't have the resources to make another oven for a while. 
that sort of thing. And I can see better in this water, that's for sure. I'm definitely feeling the uh, improvements in that little pond. Maybe the deeper the water is, the it's still a little bit harder to see. But in that shallow pond, that was real easy. All right, back to the bow for more rabbit, I hope. All right, bear, wolf. There's a box over there. But yeah, I wanted to get your guys' input. Do you guys want me to play ahead or just stay on the uh, slow city track that we have? It's going to make for a much longer season. But I think you guys would enjoy it more because I'll be enjoying playing the game more because, I, like I said, I won't have burned myself out on it. I mean, I can fake it sometimes, you know, occasionally I, I act a little to, to seem a little bit more, I'm into this, than I might be, but not usually that much. Very rarely, because like I said, I love this game. But anything can grow on you after, you know, get a little bit tiring after a while. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't have a head box, but let me confirm that. Nope, there's no crack on a head. And you ran away instantly, so I did a good amount of damage to you. My guess is you're not gonna run. Whoa, I didn't do that much damage. You're only level one, too. Ha ha ha, run. Run, little piggy. Don't run into anything that also will kill you, though, because that would make me sad. You don't want me sad, do you? <laughs> I didn't think so. He said no. Trust me. Oh, and yes, somebody pointed out that I could have shift-clicked my uh, uh, gear onto my head without... And not try to do this, where that's a really good way of losing all your equipment. So I will try that. We'll go try that when I get back home. And no, I honestly... I mean, I know you can do that. I never thought of trying to do that with a scuba gear. Just the thought process never crossed my mind. Might as well grab the kelp. Why don't I grab sandstone? Because I get a ton of uh, glass sheets from the hunters. I almost don't... Well, eventually if I'm making a lot of stuff out of glass, I'll need, you know, to make my own glass sheets. But for right now, pff, let the hunters, you know, make glass for me. Speaking of the hunters, I will be attacking the hunters tomorrow more than likely. So today's, you know, the first episode of this week was running into the cave. This episode was trying to recover from running into the cave. Oh, do I get these back in time? Seriously? I actually did. Hmm. Surprise, I am. All right, more extra raw meat, that's fine. Um, hold on. I know I could have filled that up. I never remember to do that. But I will here in a second. I will fix the errors of my way. Drink. Drink again. Yeah. All right. So chicken. A live chicken this time. And water. Let's head down toward the big lake and hopefully grab a chicken on the way. That's more than close enough to be able to get back home quickly. Hey, blueberries. Nice. That is here a chicken clocking. No. Thought I did. Maybe I did, but I don't think I did. I see another rabbit. Man, William Tell, eat your heart out. I am on top. Only missed one rabbit so far, I think, today. It's pretty damn good. Chicken? Chicken? I see a bear and a wolf, I think. But no chicken. Yeah, bear and a wolf. They're not what I'm looking for. I 
I know, I forgot. Oh, 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 oh. In the bushes. Quiet, rabbit. Quiet. I said, hush. You're making too much noise. You're scaring the chickens away. How I didn't see you the first time I came by? Uh, I'm going to pretend uh, that I did and I just chose not to go after you. Arrows. 43. We are doing really good on arrows right now. Ah, there's my chicken. Are you the clucker I heard a few minutes ago? Don't, no, don't, don't, no, don't keep... Well, if you want to run straight into my chicken coop, I, I'm fine with that, too. Yeah, wolf. That's my... Well, future dinner, not yours. Back off. I'm telling you, you don't want a piece of this. Well, don't. No, I mean, let me let me rephrase that. You want a piece of this? I'm not gonna let you have a piece of this. Check on. Perfect. And no, I don't like adding extra uh, spaces. Even if I did, I'd probably never use them. I think one chicken at a time slow for the resources but so much better when it comes to managing uh, food and water for the damn chickens at least in my humble opinion four tomatoes left let me check on my tomatoes upstairs they should almost be ready almost on that one that one and that one okay so I have three Four things of tomatoes. Basically, what's going to happen next is as soon as these tomatoes come up, I'm going to harvest them all. And I'm probably going to replant every planter with nothing but tomatoes. Just to get a huge overstock of tomatoes going. I want to have a tomato bonanza. I want to be the tomato king of the southwest. Or wherever the hell we are in subsistence land. Oh, apple. Thank you. I actually needed that. I was starting to run low on apples. I'm not going to mess with level 3 wolf unless I need to. I think that's a waste of resources. I know. I'll put as many resources into a boar, but the boar is new and gives better fat. And I'm all about my fiat. And I have no clue what accent that was. Don't try to identify it because I don't have a clue and I'm the one that said it. It's like Southern draw meets. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> it's the best I can explain it. And I'm not from the South. I'm from Florida. I get told that all the time. Where are you from? I'm from the South. Well, where? Florida. It ain't south. True, the further south you go, the more north you get. Um, ain't, ooh. Let's say anything else gonna pop up? I see a bag there. Ah, I'm hoping that was cotton. Those white flowers are confusing me. Plus, see, you know, last episode I actually literally walked up on the, my cape. Cotton, cool. Ah, uh, and yes, here comes the rain. It's been threatening to rain all day. It's about time it started, right? I'll grab a blueberry. Oh, and does it not? Okay, it is dry in here. Cool. As I say, if, if you're hurting for, um, and you're starting on normal and you're worried about the rain taking out your fire, just build in that any of the covered areas, arch rocks, but I like uh, uh, the ore rock. It's one of my favorite caves to live in. Just put your fire down in there. The water should never affect it. It might look like the water's coming in. That's a visual bug that Cold Game still has to fix. But no, it, your fire should be just fine in there. And this will actually uh, fill up all of my yeah look at that 
there's water filling up. There's proof that the water fills up. Though I've already proved it before. People still don't believe me that the water actually goes up when it's raining. As long as you don't have plants that are drinking it, it's awesome. All right, let's get inside. Not a lot of good loot today. I mean, it wasn't a bad run. Three pearls. How many pearls do I have right now? I'm one pearl short from my next upgrade. Really? All right, next up, next episode, we've got to get that pearl so I can upgrade and finally get, um, I think the recurve bow up to level two is a good uh, choice. Probably the direction I'll be going. And I guess I can eat. There we go. 101 and 105. Nice. All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on Season 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.